For me, using Henselite products is, is great. I really love the XG. The Arc is wonderful, I think, because I'm really able to read my weight off the Arc and uh, it's, yeah, really reliable bowl. The Morwell Bowling Club is your place for fun and food. Come and try bowls and make new friends. Have coffee or bring the family for lunch or dinner. The Morwell Bowling Club. Visit us today on Hazelwood Road. Good morning, hello, and welcome to the Gibson region for day seven of the Victorian Open. Day one of the triples, we are back at Morwell, and where would you rather be on a sunny Monday morning than tuning along, <laughs> listening to myself and Joshua Thornton. How are you, buddy? Morning, Jimmy. Nice. No, good to be back at uh, Morwell. We've had, what, four good days at Tarogan. Yes, the afternoon was actually fantastic in terms of the atmosphere at the club with the uh, conclusion of the men's and ladies singles there yesterday uh, and we should be up for another great day today with the ladies triples here at Morwell. Yeah, peak of a game up early mate. Mm -hmm. um, got some uh, people from across the big pond, the Americans, going up against some people we know pretty well, Claire Sanders, Colleen Orr and Anne Miles. Yep. Um, talk through the American side of things mate. We have Mary Thompson who's leading and Joe Hedgepeth who is uh, skipping and then Marina Highland who's playing too. Um, is Marina actually American, Jimmy? Oh, no. <laughs> Don't ask me the hard questions this early in the morning, mate. I wasn't convinced she was. I know. I definitely know Mary and Joe are. That's for sure. Yeah, Mary and Joe. Avi Chun is into the live stream from over in the state, so it's good to get them on. We've had them. We had them on in the pairs earlier on in the piece as well. We're back on this green at Morwell. Green one, if you know Morwell, which is the slower of the two here. Plays around about 13 and a half, 14 seconds often means very tight heads um, as it's easier to find than the sort of 16 and a half green out the back. Some good triples teams on display, including these two, but look over, I can see Kelly, Mahera, Ma Kelly McCarran <laughs> playing, <laughs> the good start. See Trish Dolan, Sammy Atkinson, Nicole McKenzie, and I know over the back, it's Tash Van Aldick, Lisa Phillips, Selena Goddard. So we've got a treat of action today. Stacey, I think I'm up, but you might need to turn your hearing aid on, mate. <laughs> you do sound a bit weird in my headphones as well, to be honest. Do I? Yeah. He looks weird as well, Stokesy, to be fair, but... Congratulations to Stokesy. was made uh, a Hall of Fame or at the Golden Valley, Gold Murray presentation yeah, right. yesterday. That's awesome. Caught it. Well, let's get into some bowls action now. So Marina trying to draw a shot, just going to be a two... Touch too quick on this one. The orange bowler, Colleen Orr, a reckons holding shot there. So 15 ends, same as always. Two and a quarter hour time limit on these games, which I don't think we'll get anywhere near, to be honest, but you never know. Um, two bowl triples. Colleen must have brought all these j shirts down for the ladies because they're the Darwin Buffalo shirts. Darwin Buffaloes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Is Claire and Anna from Yarrawonga, my Wailer Golf Club. I haven't watched Sandy Miles play for a while. I'm looking forward to it, actually. Oh, so she's turned to the good side, Jim. Yeah, Aero. I was about to say that. <laughs> I, you took the words out of my mouth. I was like, she playing with arrows there? They are. They've got about 87 different colours on them. Just pulling up. Still plenty of room, really. There's probably nearly a yard of a shot at the moment. Jimmy? Triples, 15 ends, two bowls each. I've already two done this. Have you? Yeah. I didn't hear you say that. I'll tell you what, mate. 
I'm, I'm going to walk off if you're going to carry on like this all there. I zone off when you start talking, mate. The only positive is it can only be up for you from here. <laughs> Has she added the two or so feet on she needs? I think she's added a bit more than that, JT. Mm, yep. Sit that bowl at the back. It's hardest to get back for shot there. Not to be. Yeah, the back bowl, the orange bowl of Colleen Orr. Collecting the shot there. Morning, Shane. Hope you're well, mate. Yeah, Cracker is uh, more well. I reckon it's one of the best around. Do a great job here. Tina, the general manager, and Sarah, the bowls coordinator. All the other staff, to be honest. Tell you what's a big hit, and I haven't even given it a nudge yet, is the ice cream bar inside. So load your own ice creams up. Might have a look at that later this afternoon, JT. See what I can get for five bucks. Because you're tight. <laughs> I don't really want to spend any more on an ice cream, to be honest. <laughs> Claire Sanders leading us off here. Her and Annie Miles playing a lot of bowls together. Won a national fours title together, what, about four or five years ago now? Yeah, I reckon they got runners-up last year. Them two, Lorene Smith mm -hmm. and Kylie Whitehead. It's just a uh, well-oiled fours rink that. Play a lot of balls together. Someone actually thinks you're sounding good, Jimmy. <laughs> Only because he, he saw me about... Seven hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> so he's probably shocked. Morning, Dan. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I am a bit husky this week, to be honest. I, uh, I completely lost my voice a few days ago. Uh, look, as I said on all the streams, you needed a good tablespoon of concrete. <laughs> I didn't stop working. No one didn't say you didn't stop working. We just didn't set sight you on the streams. Just stop talking. Yeah, good adjustment from Claire here. Dusts the jack. And a big shout out to our partners of this event, Jimmy. We've got uh, Trope City Council, Destination Gippsland, obviously Henselite. Mm -hmm. And the Mall and Tarragon Bowls Clubs. Clubs yep. mm -hmm. Two bowl triples then, JT. What a... What game plans do you sort of have? Is it? I, I find it a very front-end heavy game. Uh, sorry, I've been a big believer for a long time that two bowl triples can be and has been dictated by the leader. Mm. Lead gets on. Most times those teams win. So at the moment, Claire has got probably edge over Mary. And Colleen is going to draw the shot here. Work to do for Marina. I, I I agree. I reckon if your front end's on in two ball triples, it just forces shots for the second of the other rink. Just can make them lose weight, lose line. They miss. You start building heads, scoring quite quickly. Next thing you know, yeah, miles away. That's a fair reply from Marina. Great speed. So I didn't commentate on any games down any the other days. It play fairly similar both hands. I feel like the, the commentary side, the ditch side, is marginally wider. Yeah, okay. The other hand can hang a little bit. Marina, is she tracking here? Probably just a fraction quick. Mm, yeah, not just close over at the back. So, yeah. couple down still on the ladies from America. 
Play bowls over there? No. Have you been in there? I've been in America, not for bowls, though. Went to uh, Miami. Oh, did you? Golf, basketball, and spring break. Sounds like a good trip, to be fair. <laughs> I've got to give it to the ladies across. I'm looking across the rinks, mate. And I don't think you'll see this at men's triples action today, but they are very coordinated. There's a lot of people in the same shirt. We're a team. We're wearing the same shirt. The guys just don't care, Jimmy. No, I applaud it. It's I, uh, great. So, getting to that, I obviously played with Ori last week in the pairs. I said, uh, what are you wearing? Oh, I don't know yet. I'm Shut popping up. my Shep golf gear. So I wear my Murray Dan's gear. Or he rocked up in his Barham Sons gear. Yeah, which, you, which you have. <laughs> yeah. I reckon Annie's added a third there, possibly. Oh, I reckon it's too short, Jimmy. Joe's got a fair bit of work to do here, I know. He's sitting inside that white bowl of, the blue and white bowl of Claire's and she'll go close, but hasn't got the journey with this one. Good game next door as well. Jam Morton against Dar McKee. She can play Dar McKee. Mm -hmm. She's played Matt, me and Matty O four times in pennant a couple of years ago. She's 4 and 0. <laughs> she pelted me twice. She can play from Alphington Bowls Club. With all due respect to Dar, <laughs> is that an accomplishment beating you four times or Matty O four times? Oh, where's this Jack going? If she nudges it, that, oh, was, that was a good no miss. Good. That, that was a good miss. <laughs> if she thin that, she could have gone two or three down. Look. Even Claire's having a giggle down the other end going. Okay, it's, it's two in a measure. Yeah, and that's sort of what um, Marina the second indicated to Joe. She's got further down the green this time. She's interested, JT. This is close. Here we go. Good morning, Joe. Oh, the hat. Draws the two. shot. What a bowl. No. She says to Rink, give me some up more. Come on. I can't do this every end. We need that raucous crowd from <laughs> Carolgan yesterday, yeah. Jimmy. Yeah, these sectional days, uh, everyone's focused on the bowls, eh? Bits of jeep so far. Mm. But one all after two. Who's winning? Look, I, I'm <laughs> going to back... Uh, no, I mean, no, just not. Sorry, mate. Well, Humor's wasted. I forgot around here. <laughs> Apologies. What are, you, what are we talking about? <laughs> you said one all. I said who's winning. I oh, see. You call that humour. I just call that stupid. <laughs> So, big draw ball from Joe there, and it's interesting to see the tactic that they uh, deploy straight after. They have gone full T to T. Mm -hmm. You've got to think, and I don't know this for a fact, but I remember talking to Joe and Mary last year, that the greens aren't the um, quickest over in the States. No, I knew that. So maybe going T to T just gives them that more of a feel. Got to chuck the ball a little bit more. Maybe they're more comfortable. You can you can see it happen also in the reverse when you see our uh, British Isles yeah. colleagues and you know players come over and play here. You know, or anywhere from sort of Asia that plays, they our greens are generally too quick mm. for them. You know, and they, and they have a battle. So yeah, that T to T tactic just makes them feel a bit more at home. Morning, Joe. Watching from Cairns. What yeah, she's always she's been in Cairns for a while. That's from Ocean Grove originally. Yeah, I knew that. Bet you the weather's better up at Cairns right today. It's a bit grey this morning, eh? Yeah. A bit windy as well. Good start by Claire Sanders. Morning, Westgate. Hope you're well, pal. These tips weren't that good yesterday if we go back and look through them. <laughs> the Oracle of Bowls tipping. Let's I'll go back. Yeah, uh, he's on 16. So the only ones he's really got right that are still in it are Toddy Jerome, Neville Brown. Yeah, right. He tipped Nev Brown to get through that. Wow, well, he said in. the last 16, but he... I mean, Nev's a good player, but he knocked some bigger, pl some big players out. Two goodies from Claire Sanders here. He's going to clip the jack on the way to it. Great start. Morning, Brendan. It's a hard gig. I said to someone on the stream yesterday that if you pick who you think is going to win on paper, guarantee you, 
it's not even going to come close yeah. to it because you just don't see every favourite win. Yeah, the one I was a little bit shocked by was um, Brad Pavey going to... I thought he'd go close to defending his title this year. I, it's hard to repeat. It really yeah. is. Any sport. Jay Boy was my other sort of favourite. He went as well. The giant killer. Mm. Frankie. I'm trying to think of what I think will win it now. So we're down to the last eight, can't we? Well, I, I actually, I said this to, to um, a few of the ladies this morning. Who's left in our finals across mixed pairs, pairs and singles, both men and women's, obviously in the pairs and singles? It's phenomenal. Yeah, absolutely. Like, they are some ridiculous some ridiculous caps to look forward to. Thanks for meeting me, mate. And I won. No, you're obviously two. Um, they need a bolt. Do the ladies from America here. Because it's starting to look a bit painful if Colleen can add another here, which I think she's going to get under this blow. She mm -hmm. does. Yep. Three, maybe four now. No. You think of the four ladies single semi finalists. <laughs> yeah. That that is a phenomenal. I, I semi cannot. I cannot. I cannot wait for both games. And I tell you what's going to be f real annoying is we're not going to get to put both on live stream. We're going to have to do some creative stuff, I reckon, because I want to see both of them ladies singles games. Sammy Atkinson v Tash Aldick, Lisa Phillips v Selena Goddard. Just two amazing games. Joe with some work to do again here, JT. Pressure's on her early. End three, four down. To draw a bomb after being three down last end. She delivered in the last end when she was down. Can she repeat? Uh, they dictated this length, remember. They wanted the T to T. Don't think she's got the journey on this one. Telling me she's only using these arrow bowls because she won them in a raffle. And short as well. Big work for Joe to do here. Gets it away nicely. Get out the way, Marina. You're not missing much, she's short. Comment then. What? <laughs> You're not missing much. She's short. It's quite blunt. <laughs> I'm not here to uh, <laughs> no, no. fluff it up. We, I'm we don't. We don't sugarcoat it here. We're pretty honest. Well, this will be nearly five, Jimmy. Mm. As long as Ian's got the weight. She does. I've never got why ladies put a cloth down and put all the bowls in the it's just. I don't think it's just ladies. I've seen that up in a fair I've bit. I've never seen guys do it, mate. I have. It is five. I have. <laughs> Matty Green at Melbourne loves it. Loves a cloth down. Six one after three. Unfortunately, it wasn't Allison. That's correct. Yeah, I just wondered if that's what it, that they were trying to just... I mean, yeah, we assume the slower grades over in the States. I'm basing that assumption on absolutely nothing, but... Morning, Gavin. A um, couple of days of finals, mate. So today's obviously triple sectional. Tomorrow is triples knockout rounds. And then on Wednesday and Thursday, there's... 
a myriad of semi-finals and finals across both days. So Wednesday will be from Morwell. I think we clean up the mixed pairs um, and at the triples events that day. And then the Thursday from memory is the pairs and singles finals. But if you jump onto vicopen.com.au, you'll be able to see the schedule in one of the menus there. Get yourself ready for uh, what I am telling you, and I'm not lying, is going to be an exciting couple of days of finals. There are some massive games. Yeah, good lean bowling from Claire here. Yeah, no, Claire's been a fantastic front end player for a long time, Jimmy. Uh, she generally leads at your Awanga Mile Whaler Golf Club. She's led for the state. She oh, what a reply for... this is, JT. Yeah, fantastic. Great stuff from Mary. Finding one. She had good speed with the first and just tidying the lineup with the second. Yeah, mate. Um, tomorrow's streaming will be the men's triples. I have a feeling... Based on who's in a few events, we might bring the women's triples final till to, to, to tomorrow as well. So we'll do some planning this afternoon. But yeah, it will be men's triples knockout tomorrow. So all about fairness here. So we've done... Two days of mixed pairs, two days of men's pairs, two days of women's singles, plus a random game in the men's singles last night. We'll do women's triples today and the men's triples tomorrow and then all the finals. Spot on. Can't wait. A shot on the backhand for Colleen here. Tough, because there's not a lot of room for her. She's almost got to play this as a perfect bowl, JT, huh? Hey? Yeah, just got to try and skirt Claire's balls on the line. Does get back from there, though, on this hand. So she's just got to effectively just draw the jack off. She's interested. Well, she doesn't seem that far away. So I'm going to trot after it, JT. Just got to hurry that line. Just the speed let it out there. Weight hurt, I think. Good it's weight would have got shot. Made it harder for any miles as well. Yeah, and it doesn't even line the plan up now either. Oh. That changes the situation. Hmm. Might force a bit of pace now. They've got the back bowl of Khalid's there. And the she bowl of Clear's landing mm. on the shot bowl means you can actually pop out clean. She will arrive here with about ditch weight, I reckon. for the backhand. She's obviously just trying to dead draw it. She has to get around the blue bowl. Joe, it's probably the one thing they've actually struggled with the uh, American team is their weight. 
Bastard, and they've probably dropped short more than long. Yeah, I think this is a good move by Ian. The forehand looks the better shot. Got chances there. How's she tracking? She's got to get under her own now, which she is. She's awfully close. Oh, great effort. But Joe and her team are still holding one. She's coming down for a look. I reckon there's every chance she doesn't play this. Well, Joe's opting to try. Backhand. It's always going to be hard. She hasn't gone too bad here. That's a marvellous effort. One though still. So, takes a score. Six to two after four. As Jimmy enters the seat. He's just going to get us our lunch order sheet. <laughs> Got a, we're already thinking about our I'm starving, mate. stomachs. Going for that longer length again, JT. The mats are all back. So she goes with a jack roll. But judging by Joe the skip, maybe she didn't want it that long. She's standing up the line a little bit. Start from Mary out. Oh, she got it. Got him. Good job. Not a bad reply by Claire Sanders. Oh. Very good leading. Just looking to improve on her last. I mean, the last one was a cracker, but if she beats Claire's, it's another fantastic bowl. Uh, great leading so far this end. Claire did not miss by much then. Great start from Mary there. Hold the cup, oh, hold him one probably. Morning and good afternoon to you, Mary. Joining us from Laguna Beach, where these three ladies hail from, Jimmy. That is the best sanding bowls club in the world, Laguna Beach. We, Just go we Google satellite it, mapped it the other day. Is it next to a beach? Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> it's got to be the best view bowling club in the world. I'll swap you for more well, Mary. How about that? Good effort from Colleen. Just dipping underneath to be the other side of that bowl. Tiny bit more pace. We might have to take you up on that offer, Mary. <laughs> mm, just missing my colour in there. Still one to the ladies from Laguna Beach. Give some scores from the other rinks on this green we can see. See Sammy Atkinson, uh, rinker 11-3 up over Jenny Keep, I want to say, from Ocean Grove. Um, Nicole McKenzie leads 3-0. Devin Nixon leads Kelly McCarrahan 4-1. O'Shea's 5-0 over Silver and Jan Morton 2-1 in front of Di McKee. A few venues going today. So the ladies, uh, triples also at Stratford and Yarragon. Got men's triples at Sale, Ballara, Taralgan. Don't think I've missed any. Anne's team currently holding uh, down at the moment. I think she's got the journey here, mate. You don't think she's got the journey? I think she's definitely got the journey. Yeah, she does. That's what I meant. <laughs> it's not no luck is what I meant. <laughs> I can't tell these aero balls, mate. They confuse me. Speak properly, mate. They're just, they're just confusing. Any of them, I just can't tell with them. Joe, how's she tracking? Got one in the look at the moment. Tracking here. Very close to the first. Caught the gap. Doesn't look the same to me, JT. No, a bit tied up. One it is. So the first team to score. Multiple ends in a row. 6-3. And we've played five. Third of the way through the match, Jimmy. That's good maths by you. I didn't have you down as a fractions, man. You surprise me every day, JT. You surprise me by keep saying this sort of stuff when you know it's actually all true, you know, so. Morning, Josh. Hope you well, mate. What's on the morning tea menu, Josh? Yeah, I know. You get, tell us your biscuits. What biscuits do you have with your tea? You have <laughs> some rich teas. You go for a bit bit of a more harder Dunkin' biscuit, like a hobnob or a digestive. <laughs> I can't believe we're getting into this. <laughs> Because I don't eat anything with my... I don't eat tea, drink tea for starters. Oh, so please exit from the conversation. I mean... It's always coffee. Have you ever seen the Peter K skit where he talks about biscuits? He talks about rich tea being like a a weak biscuit. You dip it in, it falls apart in the tea. Then you get a hobnob, he calls it the marine of biscuits. Dunk me, dunk me again. A sausage roll. There's a, there's a healthy diet at 9.34 <laughs> in the morning. Josh Barrow, have ever seen one, mate? Great start again from uh, Mary. She's going about her business quite well now. Settled in. Dollar one, he's actually not having a tea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just smoke and he's <laughs> yeah. stuck into a sausage roll.
Talking of biscuits. <laughs> oh, here we oh, go. Aren't it? That biscuit we had with our coffee at Taralgon yesterday was sensational. Like the Biscoff. Oh, yeah. Mate, I tell you what. That in a like a paste in a cake is amazing. Get that get that down here. If anyone's got a pack of Biscoff or something, get it down to the commentary booth. Yeah, fairly solid lead bowl again by Mary. She's actually leading quite well. Yeah, she's going good. Claire probably jumped her at the start, and the last two or three ends, she's, she's sort of gained the ascendancy back. Worked the green out a little bit. And as we said, the lead, whoever gets on first out of the leads tends to dictate the match. Do you work, Josh? I didn't even know you worked. <laughs> Morning, Swanee. Swanee, you are the king of Chinese. That VBL at Barron, we All ordered. Time. All time. <laughs> probably meal enough for the, every franchise there that night. $700 worth of Chinese he ordered. Ooh, Marina's quite wide here. Oh, she's in the commentary booth. <laughs> I nearly could have put my foot on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just missing that one. Happens. All right, see if Kalane can grab the shot here. Some room for us still. I actually thought she sent the wrong boss for a second, the no, I knew, Marina I, I, before. I, I, I'm I, like, what's I, going on I here? I could see the boss the right way, but... Kalane, has she got the journey? Just pulling up. I was nearly going to get the like the curling brushes out and try and shuffle it all the way back in. <laughs> Morning, Pat. Oh, I haven't even, I haven't had breakfast once this week, you know. I don't think I, I don't eat till about midday. Athletes like me. <laughs> Morning, Pat. Hope you're well. Oh, Marina. What a correction this is. She if you can kill it, that jack. jack. Oh, yeah. what a shot. That is a sensational turnaround of events for her. She nearly bowled JT over mere moments ago. <laughs> And then just gets a little nibble of the jack. Sensational stuff. Made three shots. Mental fortitude, that is. Just forgetting the previous bolt. Colleen's got a little... She's, what, she's definitely quicker. And she's in with a chance she of sitting one of these bars. The oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, if we could read lips. <laughs> she wasn't overly pleased with that result, is, is all we'll say. It's a silly old sport sometimes. Can play good bowls and get nada. <laughs> <laughs> she has got a good sense of humour animals. Very dry. Well, she's got some work to do here. Oh, I mean, obviously, the, well, it's not even a go first. Joe's looking ahead on the forehand. Yeah, it's the right shot, the forehand shot. Don't give any more width on that other side of the head. Don't think she's there, though, Jimmy. What's Annie trying to do? Draw it off clean or promote Colleen's? Uh, probably not quite as quick as Colleen's. Yeah. But you, you know, you've still got to get there. By getting there, you've got a chance of turning Colleen's over or just passing it and you're, you're close for a shot. I'm not convinced she's there either. Hmm. Might make it harder for Joe to draw on the forehand now, though. I know this is really bad, but all I can think about is biscuits currently. I can't get my mind away from biscuits. Well, <laughs> getting away from the tea side of things, we'll talk about this in a second, as yeah. Joe comes down with her last this end. She's further along. She's Marina, better. get out the way. Oh, she's added a fourth. And any more. Oh, that's a cracker as well. The only thing that might do is might force Anne to actually play a lot more weight. She can get under Colleen's bowl. She's a chance now landing those bowls. Mm, yeah, more pace that Colleen played before. Yep. yep. Big bowl, though, because they can go behind if she doesn't get anything here. Probably thought they were going to start cruising from N3 when they picked the five up, but Ooh. the ladies from Laguna Beach have 
fought back admirably here. And She's not far away, Her pace Jimmy. looks good. Her not pace looks very good. Not far away. Sure. Did it cut any out? Mm, maybe it's cut the furthest one out. It's cut the fourth out. Definitely two, obviously. Measures come out. I'm back in three. What was that shoulder tap? I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I saw myself go, silent, like, is there secret tactics with the shoulder tap, you reckon? They've won three ends in a row, and now they have drawn level, Jimmy. Yep. Six. Morning, Val. All I can see on this green is uh, Don McKee leads Jan Morton 3-2. O'Shea leads Silver 8-0. Uh, Nixon and Alvaro are four apiece through six. Nicole McKenzie's 4-3 up over Sayer through five. And Sammy Atkinson's 11-3 up through five against Jenny Keep. Anne just said that she's got some Tim Tams for you, Jimmy. Oh, he's controversial. I don't class them as a biscuit. What is it then? It's a chocolate delicacy. Oh, it's a biscuit. It's a chocolate it biscuit. It is not a biscuit. It is a biscuit. A biscuit has normally has qualities that I wouldn't associate with the Tim Tam. Okay, if you go into the supermarket and walk walk down the biscuit aisle, where do you find Tim Tams? Mate, whenever a supermarket ever got anything right, like I, I listen to them. No idea. It's a biscuit, mate. Nah. It's a chocolate treat. Mate, <laughs> you Google <laughs> biscuit. Def uh, all right. So the the definition of a biscuit is a small bake. Unleavened. What, what, what's, what's that word? Unleavened. Cake. Okay. Typically crisp, flat, and sweet. Well, a chocolate biscuit. Is no. there actual example? Not of any. Sorry, mate. You're wrong. In the world I exist, which is the right place to be, a Tim Tam is not a biscuit. <laughs> You sounded contradictory to the story you told me last night about what happened about if someone's against your opinion and they're just especially wrong, you know? Yeah, they are. <laughs> ah, there you go. Everyone's joining in. Look, we know he's from England and he's got no idea. Mate, I refuse to believe the audience anymore after they didn't get beha behind my woolly hat. I don't, I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm not for it. Right, Claire Sanders. I don't add about four or five feet to our last. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't want to share, Annie. I do love a good Tim Tam. And you know what? It's one of the only things Australia does better than England. The Tim Tams are better than English penguins. We have a biscuit called a penguin, which is very similar to a Tim Tam. You don't do meat pies. No. Close to being well. Or uh, you know, sausage rolls or anything like that. Nah, see, I disagree. I, I, I think our premium versions of pies and... Um, Sausage rolls are far better. Oh, I know. Kidding yourself. But the basic stuff, which I don't really eat anyway. You don't do barbecue shapes, and that's a problem. <laughs> we do do crisps better than you do crisps, though. Uh, it's we do, mate. I did live in your country. Quavers, today, Quavers, what's it? You got none of them. <laughs> I've never even heard of them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Go Google them. Live your life. Oh, room for Colleen. Pretty yeah. loose opening from the two leads. At least we've got people talking about biscuits in the comments now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably the best one. Colleen, great bolt. Look, if anyone does biscuits, the Americans should know. I reckon they do the best selection of biscuits. They just cover everything in cheese, though, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, their pies are quite different. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet potato pies and that type of stuff. Pecan pie. Tuning for the bowls. Get a cultural lesson at the same time. Colleen looking to be repeat. Even beat hers to get a tighter one now. Clap from Annie Miles. Uh, it actually could be close to three. Wouldn't be surprised if Claire's one behind could be counting. 
Oh, great show, aren't they? Pork pies. <laughs> that was something I encountered for the first time when eating pork scratchings. Oh, pork scratchings are unreal as well. Break your teeth, but they're <laughs> unreal. Can't beat a good pork scratching covered in salt. You want to get the ones that got hair on them as well. That means they're good. <laughs> there you go, Margaret Braybrook. A biscuit in America is known as a scone. A oh, scone? yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 it's a good shout. Yeah. yeah, good shout, Margaret. I remember going to KFC and they said, Do you want biscuits with that over there? And I'm like, What? <laughs> I don't want biscuits with my KFC. <laughs> scone. Well, Baffled. But what, you wouldn't want a scone with your KFC. Well, right? yeah, it's true. <laughs> All right, Joe Hedge Smith. She's not. Oh, she's got to hang a bit. Yeah. Her pace on the right line possibly would have grabbed a shot there. I don't. It's hard to tell with the camera angles we've got. And we're on the side. Fried bread. Oh, that's a great shout as well. <laughs> fried bread. You literally fry bread on a hot pan. <laughs> Why? I don't know, because it's good. Because you want to <laughs> increase your chances of a heart attack. Yeah, just increase <laughs> your cholesterol levels. <laughs> fried, but it, it's essentially, like, it's it's essentially toast. <laughs> but, yeah, we fry it instead. Fried bread on breakfast. Oh, what a shout. I haven't had that for ages. I'll tell you what was controversial in England was the addition of a hash brown to an English breakfast. However, no one took it back off because they're so good hash browns. I lived in Torquay for six months come across a nice little coffee shop eatery living down there and uh, hash brown Harry oh, yeah. basically an egg and bacon sandwich with a hash brown included in it yeah, as well cracking. love it there's Joe gone she needs She's to add better. a tiny bit is all she needs oh, I thought she was better Jimmy well Marina a, a second did that weird pat as well uh, I don't know, she's doing some weird pats, like pats her leg or her arm, and then signals something. So she signaled a measure. Maybe it's an you know, American thing when they're playing yeah. their competitions over there. See, T-Bone, you haven't had the right mushy peas, mate. Gourmet mushy peas, I'll tell you what. Bit of mint sauce on them. Pfft. Boston. All right, and looking to improve on her last... Come on in, it's a call from Colleen. And gets a touch of the jack, mate. She's all time, but she's not going to do it with this. I'm running the clear short bowl. And I think we'll have a measure here for shot. All right, one out. Oh, should measure for second. Why are they finger measuring? Just get the measure out. Nah. Just Colleen, the one. Yeah, but Colleen's confident in her convictions. So they stop the run of three ends in a row. By Joe Hedgepitt's team. And they now lead 7 6, Jimmy. When I lived in England, Jimmy, I did enjoy the going to the the local pub for a Sunday roast. Yeah, I was. And it was humongous. Yeah, I was craving a roast yesterday, to be fair, earlier in the day. Do you like a good roast? What's your preferred meat on a roast? I love cooking pork. Same, I'm a pork fan. Well, you know, me and yeah. you exchange messages a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you like pork? You can't make the carveries over there as well. Do you ever go to a carvery over there? You know what a carvery is? Well, we think we, we did have carveries in Australia, whether it's the same thing or not, it's a different... It's the pub that serves roast dinners. And so you go up, they normally have four meats on, you can choose which meats you want, and then it's like, help yourself to all the vegetables. Like an all-you-can-eat roast dinner buffet. Tell me, there's nothing better than that. Shot from Mary. Gets inside Claire's bowl. Short of the jack. Good enough for shot. Claire looking to correct. She's on a better line here. Oh, she's on a good line, sorry. She's close to collecting this jack. What a shot from Claire Sanders. 
Drags it back as well, so has made her other ball count now as well. Mary's not short this time. Close your eyes, JT. Oh, she gets the edge. Stays on the green. She got the right track, just not fully having the journey. Colleen looks quick again. Oh, nearly edged the jack out in the open. It's tough. It's tough to get it on this backhand. I think it's a forehand shot myself. Oh. Just the way my brain sees it better. You know, sometimes you just see a shot better. I just think in general it's a hard shot mm. based on where players ball sitting with the jack. Going to take a special ball to get shot. But if you are looking at it from behind, Jimmy, I'd argue you're right. Forehand looks mm -hmm. better. Far away. Yeah, that's the shot I could see. I think she's got to follow it out now. Cause yeah, if she sits on side that, she'll correct. count. Absolutely. Gets that last ball, flops in. Looks like she's lining up forehand. This is the, the way she played a couple, a good draw shot there a few ends ago, Jimmy, to get shot when they were down. Joe got air. She's in the vicinity, JT, but I... Don't think she's wide enough. Yeah. Good speed or she's a tad short? Tad short. Rob, I'm booking a flight to Perth. You've sold it to me. Four, four days out of five. All time. I want to give a shout out to the place we went to last night. Yeah, know? Akami, all you need Japanese. It was awesome. Yeah, it was good. To be fair, every meal we've had here in Taragon's been good. Very good. Oh, bad meal, yeah. Look at that. Great shot. Great shot. Joe, just I'm going to step back. Jelly Dales, mate. Get them out, mate. Get them off the comments, team, man. They're horrible. Right. Joe's got to be a bit quicker, which he is. I think she's tight, though, Jimmy. Yeah, I agree. She's going under. All right. The team of Sanders, Orr and Miles three. regaining the ascendancy. Should be three. It is three. Scotch eggs are good, but you've got to get a good Scotch egg. You get a bad Scotch egg, and you'll need to be drinking two bottles of water just to get your... Feeling back in your mouth. They dry it out, you get it wrong. It's this tactic of Matt up, it's mm. worked well for him. But going again. I haven't had a chance, obviously, to commentate with you, Jimmy, but what I know every time in the last couple of days, and just in general, when people want to take the Matt up, they walk to where the 21 metre mark is and they take two steps. So, yeah, That's two steps. I don't see anyone take one step or three steps. It's always two. Yep. Yeah. Funny. Oh, 
On the indoor yesterday at Taralgon, there was an incredible amount of 21 metre measures. Mm. Like an obscene yeah. amount. And <laughs> I'd argue none of them were worth measuring. Nah. They were well in. I think I, saw, I think I saw out of about 20 calls, one get sent back. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It was mad. You know like, what it is? It's, it's a 40 metre green mm, and the optical illusion. Mm, it's the depth perception in yep, there, that that's slanted roof as well at Taralgon. So happens, Sensational facility. Murray Downs got eight ring greens. Happens often there. Yeah. That's it, Anne. That's where I knew there was a carvery. Core RSL used to have a carvery. Yeah, right. My Can't home. imagine it's... My old home club. Matches up with a carvery at the Crown in Perth, though. I reckon that'd be phenomenal. I'll tell you one place you should go to is the Crown Plaza Revolving Restaurant on the Gold Coast. Oh, yeah. So it's up the very top of the whole building. The whole... Spins. It spins very, very slowly. It takes an hour to go one full revolution. And they got that in Sydney as well. And it's all you can eat. Oh, yeah. And they got that in Sydney as well. Don't know. Possibly. I don't know all you can eat in the casino at um, Gold Coast. That was pretty good. I'll tell you yeah. where the best all you can eat buffet I've ever had is. Is the Langham in Melbourne. You're right. It's the sensational. They have like an Indian station, Chinese station, a noodle station. A roast station. That was like the Com Games Village. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, this is yeah. the bowler from Colleen. It's the boss. Do not say that, Jimmy. Why? <laughs> because it's terrible. <laughs> it's like your lawn bowling. Yep. So I'm sitting here, Jimmy. I'm past it. At least you had it. <laughs> Marina just under. Good home, though. It's there for the collection if they do get a um, connection on that orange bowl on the jack of Kalans. She's just trying to draw the tee here. It is re-spot. If she draws a tee, she still only counts as well. Yep. Doesn't Ooh, want to touch it, though. Oh, JT. Oh... They got shot, but it gives the opposition chances now. actually your fault this conversation started, Jimmy. It started on biscuits, didn't it? <laughs> no, it's Josh Barry's. If he didn't post about his morning cup of tea, we wouldn't have got down this rabbit hole of food. That's the one thing I love about commentary some days. You do go down to some rabbit holes, don't you? We haven't even addressed the elephant in the room yet. American barbecue. I reckon that's, I reckon that's all time food. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we are actually going to get him to something serious <laughs> and no, no, we're still on the same topic. Nah. I'd love to go to Laguna Beach for a game of bowls and some smoke meats. Make it happen. <coughs> Set up a GoFundMe page? Yeah. Jimmy and JT's adventure. Uh, Anne's looking to just tidy it up. They've got a couple, but if she can get to the orange, of the white one of orange, well, I think she's going to get... <laughs> the white in the who? Oh, ha. The white in the orange. <laughs> So you mean the jack and the <laughs> oh, bowl, mate, right? that, that Those words did not come out well at all. No, then. they didn't. You almost tripped over your own tongue. Right, what's... Well, Joe's got to be Joe got giving it a chance. You've got a chance to Area. land something. Area. I don't think she's place. far away. Joe. Really... Oh, she just turned there. Oh, needed two more feet. Still three. Forcing Ian to change sides. She doesn't need to turn that blue bowl over.
think she's pushed it by Jimmy, looking for that extra weight. Yep, agreed. That'll be another three. And uh, some work to do. When Claire and Colleen have scored, and they have scored big. 13-6 now. And we've played nine ends. tactic like Ian Miles' team has with the mat up. you got to have a lead that's capable of rolling the jack to this as well and she's been doing it really well, Claire Sanders. Bye. Some score updates across the green. Far rink. Uh, Atkinson playing keep. Atkinson leading 12-6 after 9. Uh, Mackenzie versus Sayer. Mackenzie leading 6-3 after 7. Nixon versus Alvaro, which is technically Kelly McKeeran is skipping that rink. Uh, they are leading 7-6 over 9. O'Shea versus Silva. Now, O'Shea was 8-0 up on that game, and it's now 12-10. O'Shea over Silva. So that game is tightened right up. And the rink next door to the live stream. Morton versus McKee. Morton leading 6-4 after 7. Good lead bowling, Claire Sanders. Got the thumbs up from Ian Miles. Mary's just got to improve on it last. She played a very good first bowl and she's just got to now move it up. Increase the weight by 18 inches. Oh, that's good effort. Where's it, Jack? Uh, Claire Sanders trailed it. Shot. Great ball, colleague. Still got the touch on from a previous end. Confident. <laughs> All slack. Combination. Marine is going under. again. Just picked up Jimmy. <laughs> Orina Attard on the next finger cross has a spray chalk wrapped in her shoelaces. Yeah. I've never seen that before. 
His hand comes down. Just a bit quick. Give it a chance, just a fraction narrow. Any fun away. And looking chubby, just to drop a yard on the last. So we'll go close to County. How's she tracking? Wide in the rink, mate. Around the rubbish, as Colleen said. Yep. She's only talking about her own bowls. That's another. I'm starting to skip away with this note. Is it counting? I reckon. I've been wrong once before, though. Probably need to lower that camera just a fraction more behind the head. Yeah, it could be. Areas here. Joe, she's got to be. Oh, she's probably made it worse, Jimmy. <laughs> Unfortunately for Joe. It's three coming out, I reckon. Yeah. I think Khalid locks the fourth as well. Yeah, no doubt about that. They have scored heavily now the last three ends. It's at least three, if not four. Yeah, he's taking the game away. It's swung these got this game, hasn't it? Yeah, Miles' team getting a five on the third end, broke the game open, and then Joe's reached one. Four. Three in a row. 17-6, mm. uh, and you feel it's pretty close to being done. Shot from Mary, right on it. Let's see if Claire can just adjust the line and touch. Goes to a good home, and then she misses out on the head. Another good one from Mary. That's another. Ish. And then just calling for Colleen to reach into the head here. Just a touch. Over. She would have wanted falls into the ditch. Good home for Marina at the back. 
You know, Klein's not going to be short with this one, or, or not want to be. And she's in a good zone here. Clear Road is good instead. Promotes Joe's bowl. Uh, sorry, Mary's bowl. No low scoring at Ballara Park because they're playing. They probably should have low scored their own rink. I just, Tony might have been embarrassed. We'll be eagerly waiting the submission of results from there, though. The other BV staff member playing today, Mal Allen, is uh, eight, six up after ten on her rink. She goes to the map. Probably the first time in a while she's been holding when she's gotten the bowl, Joe. I'm just catching up on the, the comment. We don't need live scoring from Ballara because we can, I can tell you what the result is already, Jim. They're losing. Oh, they have to be. Tony Sherwell's leading. They've got no chance. Yeah, followed up by Matty O, who's no good either. Glenn might talk him off the green though, Jimmy. He's won that title. Already crowned. Oh, Annie Miles. Oh, oh finds her way. Oh, wow. And even gets it back to where her other one and Claire's is. What a shot. And Miles. Not bad. Not bad. Great shot. There's a couple down as well. What's she uh, working out to do here, JT? Oh, I really think there's only one shot, Jimmy. It's a forehand shot. Mm. you just got to, you know, full draw, give it a chance. Buy a raffle ticket. <laughs> Maybe. The only thing I can see is that short bowl could be in the eye a little bit. It shouldn't be, but... <coughs> oh, she's on a search, JT. It's probably bigger than I would have played. She's got a chance. Oh, Jack goes oh. sideways, and I reckon she's made a shot out of this. Marina's bowls are over that direction. One or two. Good hit from Joe. I think it's one. Yep, one. She made the shot. Two skips bowls in a row. Going pretty good. Made things happen. 17-7. We've played 11. Good positive way, Jimmy. She brought that raffle ticket, mate. 
That's all you got to do sometimes. If things aren't going your way, you got to make things happen. So mm. playing a little bit of extra weight can potentially do that. And they've gone back to this longer length. Four ends left to play. Fair start, Mary. Uh, drag back 11 shots to win the game in four ends. You're going to want to start like that. from Claire Sanders, JT. Yeah, leading really, really well. <laughs> All right, here's Mary going. Speed looks all right, Jimmy. Great shot. What a ball. Only knew a good tussle. It's front and battle. Don't mind that from Clay. Yeah. Give it a chance to try and sit, and if you don't sit, you're finishing a good home. As we say, Jacks rarely go for Jimmy. They do, though. Said rarely. <laughs> Marina. Just going a little bit. She's going to stay on. Yep. Cousin's interested. Don't think she's got the trip. Just a fraction shy. Tough one here for Joe, JT. She only got one bowl in the head right at the back. She doesn't want to be too positive. She also doesn't want to roll in one of uh, Colleen's or Claire's. But she also doesn't want to leave that one bowl there too because Anne could get to it. And she probably doesn't also want to create another angle for them to get to it on. So it's actually not a bad position bowl, which she's just played there. Adds another to the head. Doesn't create any more angles for any miles.
she is very close, Jimmy. What a shot. That was the shot. She had a chance to sit it for a three or four. I worked it out, what the tapping means. What? She taps how many times she's down. The tap on the leg is down. The tap on the shoulder is how many they're holding. The, the number of taps indicates how many. And then she did a little, so then she did tap twice and then measure. I'm already confused. Oh, this I'm feels like Bowles Morse code. I'm like, not, what are we doing? I'm not saying it needs to be done. <laughs> Maybe she's tapping saying SOS, <laughs> SOS. Like, come on. Seriously, I just worked it out. I've heard her speak, so she can talk. I don't know why she's <laughs> Morse coding it. <laughs> Maybe they know how to talk over in America when they play. How good am I going this morning? Right. Joe, oh God, she's just a fraction tight. She doesn't want to touch that. Probably brings it in. All right, Andy be looking just to draw now and add. Play a last ball this end. She looks quick, Jimmy. She's just a smidgen quick. Right. How many? Four. Four. So score is now 21 7. 12 ends. Claire's immediately back up with a mat. Shot from Mary. She's been good the last few ends. Claire Sanders just needing to bend her head a bit here. Not going to quite get down.
What's Marina got here? Lane just needing this to hurry. Just not quite getting there. Yeah, ben confirming what you said about the shots. JT. So still holding here. And Miles as she goes to the mat to play her bowl. But plenty of room. find it either. Disagreement a couple of rinks over on how many ends left. They're literally just bellowing at each other. Up and down the green about how many ends they got left. Any miles. Cracks into the already shot bowls. Yes, yeah, so I find it confusing this leg tapping, Ben. I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with a good old just we're two down, but we're holding two. Pretty cool shirt though, the Laguna Beach one, the dolphins on it. They'd be in my top ten of favourite animals, J2. Dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> this is another rabbit hole we're gonna go down, is it Jimmy? Sorry, I've just been doing a couple of things as you know. Oh, a stun and run, but it's too much run on that one. Two. Two. Couple of leg taps. Yeah, it's so she taps her leg when they're down and yeah. shoulder when the Yeah, uh, that's what I just said. Honestly, mate, it's And that that's a fair call, Val. It's, it's a whole new world. Yeah, good shout, Val. Yeah. yeah, fair. I just hadn't seen it before. Mm. Well, I don't think anyone is in this ring, but yeah, I mean maybe it's just yeah. It's, that all makes sense. Also have it because of it. Yeah. So going back to the top ten animals. What <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'd have a badger in my top ten as well. <laughs> Do love badgers. Uh, 23-7. We've played 13. Armadillos. Throw them in there. An armadillo. Don't see them too often. 
don't hear about them too. They're like sort of an underrated animal. No one really talks about armadillos. There's probably some animals I hate, <laughs> but I actually would put them in top ten because I'm fascinated by them. <laughs> like what? Give us an example. Oh, like... Great shot from Claire. A snake. Yeah. Or you, know, you don't hate them, you're scared of them. Yeah. So they get a no, bad but I rap hate them. I hate them too. Don't worry. What do you, like, what has a snake ever done? Is he bit, have you been bitten by a snake? Thankfully, no. I don't they're, see too. They're I don't. just creepy. Yeah, they are creepy. I'll give you that. While Mary, I reply, this Mary. is... Oh, oh, wrong edge. They just get a bad rep, snakes, because they freak people out. My partner, Bryony, is petrified of snakes. And one of the first times we went to the zoo... Me and Lenny. What, she wouldn't go in the no, 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 house? No, no, me, me and Lenny are smart, mate. We said, <laughs> we should go in here. She goes, why? <coughs> we said, there's fluffy chicks in here. She said, okay, let's go. She <laughs> believed us. <laughs> we walked in. And there were snakes everywhere, and she was not happy. Oh, I love that. That's the sort of humour that goes <laughs> no, around at my house. No, I can appreciate that. Me and Lenny still <laughs> laugh about it. <laughs> She was incredibly stiff with the first. It was Mary. Oh, Mary's looking again. I tell you what, I tell you what, I have an irrational hatred for animal wars. I just find them pointless. Birds. Any form of birds. What's the point? I could watch docos on crocs and sharks yeah. all the time. Like, Shark Week's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I'm a fan of sharks. I wouldn't want to get bit by one, but... No way. Good bye bye, Colleen. Do you know what? I always have a, a weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming out of my head and exploding. So I actually think I could take a small bear in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> A big one, I'm no chance. <laughs> but uh, like a small bear, like a cub, I reckon I could have it. What a, what a shot from Marina. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's made my day. What a shot that is. <laughs> Falling back in. Yeah, great bowl, Marina. I think we need a spell, Jim. <laughs> It's <laughs> game one. <laughs> uh, mate, I, I've thought about it. I've thought about what tactics I'd, <laughs> I'd employ. Far too much. Yeah. If I fought a big bear, the first thing I'd do is run down a hill because I reckon they'd go. No, they reckon what you do if a big bear, you just drop dead and just lay still. I don't know about that. They just leave you alone. Aren't you supposed to like make yourself as big as you can? Nah, nah, not with a bear. No, I'd run for a hill. Because I think with their short legs going downhill, they'd be no good. They'd topple over <laughs> and they'd just keep rolling. And then you'd run back up the hill and you'd be gone. You'd be away from it. <laughs> a small bear. Just, I reckon I could have it. Left, right, cross. Like Ian, Claire and Colleen are probably going to go back and watch this game tonight because they, they've won. <laughs> and they're going to hear your biscuits yeah. and you fighting a small cuddly bear. <laughs> No, nah, not the cuddly top. <laughs> Vicious bear. <laughs> Trying to sit the blue animals here. Make herself a number. If she can get it. She's going to be wide, Jimmy. Yup. Well, I, I tried to fight a crocodile, Jim, and that's how I lost all my fingers. <laughs> I've been, I've used that one a few times over the years. Got it this time or not? 
she's played better weight. So she's chances. Sort of hold. Got to get the clears and rock at once. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. All right. Joe's not far away. Yeah, I know, I like this spot. Oh, did you see that walk out? Yeah. Bit stiff there. Looked good for a while. We're going in the last end. And we, uh, we'll take ourselves for a bit of a chat, man, JT. See what other wonderful and wild things we can come back with in the next game. Have you got some topics of choice you want us to discuss? Just yeah. send them through in the chat. If there's any sort of pressing issues you need, like top ten animals favourite sauce or something like that, let us know. Well, there was one yesterday that one of our Vic Open ambassadors want to run a poll on. Oh, yeah. Is salsa any good and do you have it with Mexican? No, no. So it was actually, I got to the bottom of this. It wasn't, she wasn't critiquing salsa in general. What what Tash Van Aldic was actually upset about was, like, you know, like that Dorito salsa you get from the supermarkets, which is horrific. She was saying you shouldn't have that on it, and I agree with her. Well, that wasn't what she explained it to mm. me. Yeah, it's horrific, that stuff. Yeah, a good homemade salsa is definitely better than that. Correct. That's I, would what I, still, I would still eat that salsa, though. Just a bogan, mate. Well, well that's true. <laughs> I was drinking VB last night. He was. All right, Claire finishing on a high note with another good lead bowl. <laughs> That's a cracker, Mel. Yep. It's not, it's not a beanie or a woolly hat, though. That wasn't my uh, point. My point was there should be a beanie and a woolly hat. I was never around for this one, and I don't think I want to enter into it. Just All right, let me find someone who's got one on. No one. Damn. So you know, like, you know a hat that like, goes on your head in the winter? Yeah. You know, some have, like, the pom-poms and some don't? On the, like, the little fluffy balls on the top? That, that's a beanie. Yeah, but you're calling them both a beanie, aren't you? What, the ones without the b bit on top? I'm calling them a woolly hat. And you know what? Because then it differentiates between the two. So, no. so Kevy at Moama, they sold two types of beanies. One with a pom-pom, one with that. And I said to him, someone would have to come up to you and say, can I have a woolly hat? Oh, sorry, can I buy a beanie? And you would have to say, which one? The one with the pom-pom? The one without? If you just call one a woolly hat and one a, be <laughs> one a beanie, then everyone's, like, we sit, get 20 seconds back and they laugh. But Good shot, that but is. But it's no different to caps that have got flat peaks and curved peaks. What? No different. It's not as common. Mate, please. Well, no. well, you do call them snapbacks and all that stuff, don't yeah, you? Yeah, so... Oh, I'm telling you. If I was Prime Minister, <laughs> we'd be having woolly hats and beanies. Shot to finish off. That was from Mary. Khalid just trying to sneak past ever so close. The good news for all the... People involved in the beanie and woolly hat debate. State pennant is not far away, and that's where that all kicked off last year. The scene of the cr the scene of the crime, and we'll be back at state pennant start of May, where it will be cold in Moama, and they will be wearing beanies and they will be wearing woolly hats, and we will continue the debate there. Good show, that one, Shane. Dip under, telling, son. Yeah. The line right. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. What a sport. It's one he goes, let it go, Jim. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're, th you're in the minority in this one, Jimmy. When have I ever cared about that? I oh, know I'm right. So I'm trying to save everyone 20 so you're seconds. Just another one of the mo vocal minority again, eh? <laughs> yeah. Evidently. What is the most hilarious is I don't own it. I don't own either. 
don't own a beanie or a woolly. I've got, I've got them both. As in, I've got My beanies with big. different styles. Yeah. Not on the bowls green though. Mm. It's too hot. Then you do what, like Anthony Wataski does, do not you? He wears the woolly hat, beanie hat. Like he has a he has a woolly hat with a peak. Like it's like a cap, but a woolly hat at the same time. It's baffling. <laughs> well, it's a raffle landing into this pack of bowls here in front of the jack. Manages to miss the pack any miles. Who's holding shot here, JT? Kind of the conclusion of this game. It's just been dominated by any miles and her crew. Oh, Colleen's goes forward. What a shot. Got it right. Fair play to Joe. She's come down for a look. I would just be launching at this one, JT, at this point. Probably missed the head. Oh, into the head. Here Ooh, we go oh, here. Oh. oh, that nearly found that gap as well. And that'll be one to Annie Miles, I think. To finish that one, 20... Five, seven. Five, seven. In. We'll just get that before we sand off. Yeah, just the one. Thank you. All right, thanks for that. We'll be back uh, probably in about half an hour. Um, so, yeah, go get yourself a cup of tea. I'm off to small, uh, fight a small bear, and I will <laughs> let you know how I go after. We'll see you then. See you, guys. For, for me, using Henselite products is, is great. I really love the XG. The arc is wonderful, I think, because I'm really able to read my weight off the arc, and uh, it's, yeah, really reliable bowl. The Morewell Bowling Club is your place for fun and food. Come and try bowls and make new friends. Have coffee or bring the family for lunch or dinner. The Morewell Bowling Club. Visit us today on Hazelwood Road.